Yo, it's the M-O-S-H-O-W Chicago and we are B-A-C-K-A-G-A-I-N on a super fantastic Friday. And if you're not outside getting some sun, you should be ashamed of yourself today. It is absolutely beautiful. Go get some sun. Raise your vibrations. Feel better about yourself and make those around you feel better okay and if this is your first time watching the mosHOW Chicago I ask that you share the information with relatives friends co-workers anyone that you come to contact with it is a magnificent way to jumpstart your conversation and today's conversation you all just happens to be about the governor of Oklahoma Kevin Stitt and what did he do he just signed a bill against transgender bathrooms for public schools for colleges and universities uh-huh and why is that seeing that we just saw the video that I just made about pastor Jonathan Shelley of Texas yeah who said what that all gay people should be slaughtered now, ironically, I just ran into this story about Kevin Stitt, which is a further continuation or a different aspect of what I was of what Pastor Shelley was saying. Because Kevin Stitt said, no, if you're a boy and that's on your birth certificate, well, you can't use the girl's bathroom. You have to use the bathroom in which it says the gender you are on your birth certificate. In fact about it, Governor Stitt has also uh, moved forward with a person not being able to change their birth identity on their birth certificate. What do you think about that? Do you think that he was right for that? Do you think he's anti-transgender? In fact about it, what do you think about transgenderism? Do you think that a boy should be able to use a girl's bathroom and a girl should be able to go in the boy's bathroom and use the bathroom as grammar school children, as high school students? These children are not even able to think for themselves or take care of themselves. Their parents are still taking care of them. Hell, they can't even vote. Buy a pack of cigarettes. You see, legally. But the government gives them so much freedom as to who they are versus what it says that you were born with and if you were born with a vagina you are a woman if you were born with a penis you are a man there's no room around that that is all black and white now whatever a person decides to become after that just from my standpoint they got in the way okay they got in the way you mean to tell me now, once again, I'm not a Christian, I'm not a Muslim, I'm not a Hebrew, I don't fly under any religious flag, but I will tell you this, the universal God made no mistake when you were made and created in the womb of your mother. There was no mistake if the universal God gave you a penis or gave you a vagina. Now you have those who have the amorphodites out there, so they say, that's a whole different story. But this Republican conservative, Kevin Stitt, has made headlines, headway, and people are actually riding with him in regards to this transgender thing. And you have, uh, what is her name? Nicole McAfee, who is part of the Oklahoma's freedom, um, 
Freedom Organization, uh huh. She said that Governor Kevin Stitt has made a law that is unconstitutional and it violates Title IX of the Civil Rights Act. Now, I don't know about you, okay? I just know one thing. It's not natural for a boy to go into a girl's bathroom at five years old. It's not natural for a... Now, if you're living at home, that's different. But we're talking about classrooms. Classrooms. And you have teachers who have tried to explain to the students that this is the way it's going to remain until the federal law forces us to do so. What is your aspect on that? What is your standpoint? Do you think that Governor Kevin Stitt of Oklahoma was right in passing that bill? Saying that, no, if you're a girl, you can't go in the boy's bathroom. And if you're a boy, you cannot, you know, go into the girl's bathroom. Even on sports team, you know, a girl cannot go on the boy's football team and the boy can't be a cheerleader. Is something wrong with that? I'm just saying. It's all common sense to me, you all. Leave your comments in the comment section. It's your brother, the MOSHOW Chicago, where knowledge is power. Remember, it is your third eye that makes you shine like jewelry. Don't give up on your dreams. And if you haven't done so already, press the subscribe button below, view the videos below, hit the notification bell so that you can get all of the new videos that I upload, and press the like button. Share the information, you all. Thanks for viewing. Have a fantastic Friday, you all. Peace out.